everyone, today's video is a long awaited one, FIFA 23 on the AMD Ryzen 5 5500U. It's integrated Radeon graphics and 8GB of dual channel RAM. First things first, in contrast to my FIFA 23 Intel UHD graphics tests, FIFA 23 is actually playable on the Ryzen 5 5500U. That's good news. You just have to appreciate the need for manual optimization on this one. Because remember, the Radeon graphics is and will always be an integrated GPU, not a dedicated one. This means we are still low on 3D performance. That's why I started testing FIFA 23 at 720p low settings with uncapped FPS. You can see the results in the first part of this video starting at 24 seconds. Using these settings, the game is okay playable but suffers a lot from noticeable FPS drops, especially at the beginning of a match. Personally, I wouldn't use these settings, but they were good to see that there's actually enough performance for an FPS cap. Speaking of an FPS cap, in the second part of this video, starting at 5 minutes 40 seconds, I kept the FPS to 30 and managed to increase the resolution to 900p, making FIFA 23 maintain a consistent frame rate. 1080p would simply be too demanding, making FIFA 23 drop below the 30 FPS mark. So all in all, if you want to play FIFA 23 on the 5500U, it's okay to play, but not well playable. Regarding the official minimum system requirements of Electronic Arts, which is a NVIDIA GeForce GDX 1050 Ti for this game, it's still a pleasant surprise to see it running on the integrated Radeon graphics. However, that's it for this video. Give FIFA 23 a try on the 55 u it's not that bad at all. I hope to see you all in the next one. Stay safe and have a great day. He's got to have that near post covered for me. Now back underway and 1 0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Can he do it? Well, it might still work out for them. And a goal! Well, it looks easy when you can put them away like that. Well, here it is again, and the striker does everything right. He hits it across the goalkeeper, which makes it difficult for him. And then the player coming in is alert for the rebound. What a good goal that is. So underway once more, 2-0 the lead here. Martins. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. Giving it a try. And a goal to tighten things up. They've thrown themselves a lifeline. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power. The keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. So, back underway. Intriguing contest, this, given the 2 1 scoreline. An advantage with them. Referee says play on. This could finish it. And in all likelihood, that is game over. So little time left for a response. Well, let's take another look. And it's a very good goal. And they deserve it, you have to say. They've been excellent. So back underway. 3-1 the score. Can they exploit the space out wide? But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. But it comes down to the final five minutes. Shot attempted and diving to thwart him. And time for the change now. Played over. Well, snuffing out the danger. But a corner coming up. And a bit short with the clearance. Plenty of support here. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Must be! Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, he failed to get it away properly. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Aguilar. Mohamed Kamara.
And space to exploit, maybe. Oh, big opportunity. And a goal to settle the issue once and for all. Well, there goes the final whistle, and it's all gone to plan for the visiting fans. Three points for them. You're absolutely right. Well, the keeper was called upon and delivered. Well, he's... Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray at the microphone and sitting alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player Stuart Robson. And with the game just moments away now, this really ought to be a superb watch. Stuart, what are you expecting? Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Martin Braithwaite. Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. So the corner played into the box. Not the best clearance. Oh, the threat is there. Could play it in. The referee is given a corner. Over it comes. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Oh, good looking run. But no damage done, that's the main thing. An alert piece of defending. And they do like to press whenever they can. And he has options available. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just watch his technique here. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. There's no stopping that. 1-0 then. Zaniolo. Here's Cristante. And a fine tackle. There to win it back. Dybala. Pellegrini. Martin Braithwaite. Sustained pressure and now they have the ball. And he takes it away. Really closing him down. Plenty of support here. Zaniolo. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. The high press was on, and the chance is on. Driven home. 